Uh, I guess I was surprised by the margin. And, and to me, this is a much bigger story going forward because Sherrod Brown is the most unpopular senator in the Senate today. He is ripe for being replaced by a Republican. He's a Democrat. But this could change all that because with abortion on the ballot in November of 24, the Democrats will turn out their voters in force and could save a Senate seat that otherwise would have been lost. Tell me about issue one. That's a possibility. Is- issue one uh, is related in one way to the, the ballot measure that'll, that voters will face in November. Um, in that it it would raise the threshold for uh, amending the state constitution. Every state requires the approval of voters for an, to amend the state constitution. Uh, Forty five states, it's a simple majority, and Ohio is one of them. Uh, the idea of raising it was tied to the the vote in November, where um, it's possible to defeat it, uh, but. It's likely to get a simple majority. 60% would be more effective for the pro-life side. Um, but also, this this very measure that's going to be on the ballot in November is a good example of why raising the threshold just in general was probably a good idea. You have, uh, th- this is a, a policy issue and constitutions are really not suited to decide policy. Abortion is a divisive issue and Ohio shows that uh, there are nuances and differences of opinion and compromises that are required, and legislatures are the best place for that to happen. When you move an issue to the Constitution, you shut all of that off. The people really have no voice to participate. There's no room to uh, work out a, a solution that's not maybe not obvious from the start. Uh, that's what the Supreme Court did when Roe versus Wade. They created a right to abortion and shut down the whole process until the Supreme Court reversed that last year. So yeah. I, I, I wish this had passed because I think policy issues ought to be decided in the legislature where they belong.